What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and install a Hallmaster wheelchair and scooter carrier. This is available at Harbor Freight and also available online. The tools you're going to need for the job is a Phillips head screwdriver, 8 and 10 millimeter sockets, a ratchet to go with them, and a 4 millimeter Allen. First remove all the contents from the packaging. This box has the main mounting plate and all the hardware. And just looking at the main plate that goes into the receiver hitch, it looks very stout. And finally the bag of hardware and the instructions. And included in the hardware bag is a hitch pin. These are the bolts and screws that tie, that tie on the main part to the plate. This is for the hinge. These are the tie downs. This is the bag of the hardware that goes to the uprights on the side here. These are the pins. And this is for the reflectors that go into the uprights. Make sure you put these uprights on the back of the carrier. Next you're going to start off with the base of the carrier and put on all the uprights all the way around the whole rim of the carrier on both sides. And make sure you have the carrier oriented the way you want it to so that these uprights with the two holes for the reflectors are on the back of the carrier. So if you want the ramp on the left you want to have it this way With the ramp on the right you're going to have to switch it around. Install each of the upright supports loosely so put in the screw and the nut and just loosely tighten it down. This is how all the upright supports should look like once you loosely install them. So you have the wider ones in the center there, and then the corners you have the next widest ones, followed by the narrowest ones on the inside. You snug them up a little bit, this is how they should look. Then you're going to take the upper rim of the carrier and install that, and tighten down all the screws and bolts after that. Next flip the whole carrier assembly over so we have access to the bottom so we can install the main plate. Place the main support plate down and try to line up the holes as best as possible. And here's the hardware you're going to use. The ones with the large washers are going to go on the inside six holes and the smaller washers on the outside because you don't have the clearance. So 
for this one you have the smaller hole smaller washer smaller washer here and the larger washers are all going to go in the inside six holes Next, tighten down all this hardware. Next, install the tie-down hooks and tighten down the hardware. Next, install the ramps by inserting the hardware on the bottom hinge point. And you want to snug down this hardware slightly but you don't want to tighten it too much because you want it to be able to swing freely. The pins go on the top side with the clips in the back. Next, install the reflectors with a lock washer and not in the back. And here's what it looks like installed on the vehicle. You can see this wheelchair itself is about 320 pounds. So you can see how much it flexes a little bit there. It does not seem sturdy at all though. Overall, I'd say this is a decently well-made carrier for the price. Um, it could use a couple improvements here, like for those wheels, it'd be nice if it was a solid piece of metal there, but then it would make it heavier. So there's a little bit of trade-off here. Um, that's it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, check out all my other maintenance videos if you're interested. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. And just a reminder, I can link all the products used in this video in the description below.